morning. So this, this whole month, Katleho, we have been interviewing amazing women that are working in or working with the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry, trying to unpack these stories so we can see what does it take? What kind of woman do you need to be to be engaged with the Chamber of Commerce? What kind of product or service have you brought to the table at the Chamber of Commerce? And how easy is it for women to engage with the Chamber in, in terms of getting their business into Africa, so to speak? So before we get hook, line and sinker into your product or service, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where do you come from? How did you get involved in the industry that you're in? Because it's engineering, which is you don't hear many women in engineering. Tell us a little bit about yourself this morning, please. Okay, Michelle, I was born and bred in Mafikeng in the Northwest province. And I completed my, tree, my metric 2001 in Northwest. Then I came to further my education in Johannesburg. I studied IT networking at college campus and completed my diploma 2005. And then I started working as a um, network engineer uh, for about a year. And then I moved to Business Connection to, do, to be a system operator. And um, it was interesting. The IT field was interesting. But 2016, after giving birth to my little one, I decided that I didn't want to work uh, on a full-time job. I wanted to own my own business. I want to manage myself. It's when I started to, to look into which field can I um, invest in. So I met this guy who was already in the amateur winding business. Um, I learned a little bit about the industry and then I decided to take the opportunity and invest in the business. So at first I owned 19% of the shares and I worked with him, learned the industry and I became more attached to the business and I, I decided to invest more and bought 51% of the business. Um, mainly what we do in our business, it's amateur winding. We repair electrical motors, we repair pumps and um, lift motors train exhausters, so it is very challenging and also interesting as well. So that's not an industry that women would know much about. And um, how difficult was it to go from an IT background into amateur winding? Um, it was not really easy. Even myself, I didn't actually have a lot of knowledge in the industry. So at first I was a bit skeptical that um, it might not work, but I just decided, let me take a chance and see where it goes. And as I was learning more about the business, I actually saw that there's actually a gap in this industry. There's a shortage of skill and it's labor intensive. So it is very interesting because there's so much to do. There's lots of all industries uses um, electrical motors. Um, almost every company they uses water pumps. And for sewers, we use um, submersible pumps and centrifugal pumps. So there's, there's a lot of work out there to do in the engineering business. So um, I think that's what kept me encouraged to, to learn more about the, the, this product and it's, it's, it wasn't easy. And even now it's, it's still challenging because I'm a woman and I'm young and I'm also black. So it is not really easy to penetrate the, this amateur winding business, but um, I'm, I'm floating. That's wonderful. And, so and this, you mentioned that you invested in the business. So I'm going to assume it was already a going concern, was it? Mm -hmm. There was already a business that was trading and did you buy shares in that business? Yes, um, but mainly it was specializing on amateur winding only. So it was just the rewinding of motors. So what I did, uh, I managed to grow the business and, and increase the, our production. So we started doing um, pumps and yeah, we started doing pumps and air compressors. 
And tell me something, uh, you mentioned a barrier to, uh, you mentioned it's difficult, it's a very male dominated industry. Uh, was not there a barrier to entry? I mean, how do, how do men engage you in this industry? Do they welcome you into it and try and teach you things about it? Or do you still find that when you introduce yourself, they kind of second guess you and think, well, does she really know what she's talking about? Um, a lot of time they second guess, they have their doubts, whether this is a woman and she's also young. Um, most of my male counterparts, they, they've got like long service in the, in the industry. And with me being young and um, being a woman, there is, it is labor intensive. There's a lot of heavy, heavy stuff to, to carry. Like where, whereby when you need to go to a site to install or maybe commission um, like your submersible pump in a sewer plant, for instance, they, they wouldn't be sure that it's something that a woman can do like in a like messy area, a woman having to, you know, go in there, carry out the pumps and all of that. So at, yeah, at points they do have the adults, but I happen to prove them wrong because at the end of the day, it's the, the product, the service that you get that makes you become what you are today. That's amazing, Katleta. So you are physically hands-on in the business. You're not just approaching it from a strategic level, but you are in the trenches, busy, carrying the pumps, getting them from A to B and really understanding your own business, which I suppose is what makes you so successful. How do we bridge the gap with that? How do you take that story and link it to the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce? How did you get involved then with the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry? Okay, um, I'm an incubator at an um, engineering-based metal uh, facility. So they referred me to Johannesburg um, Chamber, uh, JCCI. So um, for me, it was more to to make myself visible and be known out there. And they said, I think this can be an opportunity for you to, because I, I told them, I want to put my mark on, on the whole of Africa. So they said, this might be an opportunity for you to be able to market your products outside of South Africa. So unpack that for us. When you say market your products outside of South Africa, what are you providing to the African continents? Is it a service that you're exporting or is it the actual physical product, the pumps that you are supplying? Okay, mainly it's the service. Um, I have not started um, like to, to supply, but I'm working with companies that supplies. So I have not started um, exporting yet, but this was just to develop me and prepare me for exporting, getting myself ready for exporting. So in terms of exporting a service, how does that work in your day-to-day -day job? Um, are you sending teams into Africa to go do those repairs and maintenance? How does it work? Um, initially, it's going to be you're going to supply a pump and then you will have to service that pump, those pumps. So I will be sending a team out to go and maybe do repairs or to supply some of the parts required. But so far, we have not started. We were just getting ourselves ready for, for export, for exporting. And being South African based, do you have specific countries that you are earmarking in terms of sending teams into those countries? Uh, are you going to roll it out in stages? Like, do you want to start with neighboring um, African countries and then move to, you know, the middle of Africa and then to Northern Africa? Or are you just going to pitch to to the whole of Africa? What is your strategy around exporting your service? Um, mainly I wanted to start around the neighboring countries and then go like deeper into Africa and the whole of Africa. And what is your vision for your business? Where do you see your business going in partnership with the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry over the next five years? If you could paint us a picture, what would you say? How does it look? Um, I see the company growing. I see us empowering a lot of young women, a lot of young, um, a lot of youth. And I see our, our company growing into doing business with um, lots of countries around us. And we also hope that um, JCCI is going to, to help us to develop and also get into partnership with um, 
bigger entities outside, whether in Af South Africa and outside of South Africa. So um, in terms of us joining ventures with outside um, countries, I see JCC helping us to, to better our services and improving and growing the business further. That's amazing. And tell me something, um, how did you get involved with the Incubacy program? What, what was your induction to that? Were you invited by somebody? Is it something that you found on the JCCI website or through social media? Did you go to an expo? How did you get onto that Incubacy program? Um, I, um, I am under an incubation program for engineering field. So normally when there are opportunities out there, they bring it them forth to, to us. Maybe you part of the uh, partnerships. So they told us about JCCI, then we, we just applied. So was it through a tertiary institution or an association to which you belong? Okay, we have uh, Katlehu that's frozen there for a while. While we wait for her to come back into the picture, let me tell you a little bit about Katlejo Khuapele. She was born in Mafeking, South Africa in the year 1984, a July baby, so that makes her Cancerian engineer and businesswoman. Katlejo completed her matric at Lex Singh Science High School in 2001 and she has a diploma in IT networking, which she got in April 2005. She worked for Satrina Technologies and then joined Business Connection as a senior systems operator. She gained experience in running and managing a demanding production environment. In 2016, Katlejo decided to leave her full-time job and then invested all her savings in an amateur winding company. Her work has mainly been in administration and finance, and by the time she started researching and learning more about technical parts of the business, she then uh, got hook, line and sinker involved and acquired shares in the company, and now is actually the majority shareholder. I think this is such a wonderful and exciting venture to follow in terms of young women in business, having the confidence to not only change your job, but to be able to invest in a completely different industry. And I think what is even more exciting is an industry that is largely male dominated. Katlejo's vision was to develop this business throughout Africa, and it's in so doing that she actually partnered with the JCCI, has become a member of that, and has started to prepare her business for export. So the process is with the JCCI, when you actually get involved with them, is that they don't drop you in the deep end with regards to preparing your business for export, whether you are providing a service, as is Katlejo, or whether you're in, um, supplying a product, but they actually put you through a whole lot of training that prepares you so that when you are ready to go um, live with your export that you are positioned correctly and that you've actually positioned your products and service to be able to enter the countries that require those products and services. I know I've had long conversations at length with uh, um, Bernadette Seiler, who's the CEO of the Janusburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry, with regards to the chamber actually pointing you to the right countries. So it's not broad strokes uh, positioning for Africa, but they actually look at the product and the service that you are providing, and then they actually tell you which are the countries that are one their products and service so that you feed into a market where there is already a demand. Katlejo's business is called Honey Bee Engineering, and their core business is the repair and maintenance of all rotating electrical motors and pumps. This includes AC and DC motors, lifts and escalator motors, train exhausts, submersible pumps, centrifugal pumps, and even more. They also supply service industries that rely heavily on electrical motors, namely municipality, mines, refineries, and industrial selectors. I'd like to thank Katlejo this morning for coming live online with us at the JCCI Women's Month interviews. Absolutely an inspiration for women who want to get involved. I'd like to invite you, if you're available and you want to know more about the JCCI, the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry, if you're based in Kauteng, in and around Johannesburg, 
go online, go have a look at the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry website. All the contact details are there. You can also connect with the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry through all their social media pages. And please don't be scared to ask the question. You may be sitting on a product or service that is well worthy of being exported into the African market and just start with a conversation. For myself, Shireen Hunter, thank you very much for your time this morning. And we'll see you again next week with our final interview for Women's Month for the JCCI.